Okay, hello everyone. How are you today? It's Kay. So this is the 4th of March 2022 on Friday. So happy Friday everyone first of all. I hope you're having a great day today. And uh, so today we have many trending pairs. We have the Euro is very weak and the AUD is very strong. So we still see continuous up and down trends in Forex. And gold is potentially moving up still. So we have many opportunities. But today, I would like to talk about one specific topic about the reverse. I mean, how to capture whether the market reverse or not. Uh, and this is, I decided to talk about this topic today because I got these questions in the email or comments. How can I capture a true, let's say, a doji reverse or true pimba reverse or true double bottom reverse because sometimes it gives you some fake fake candlestick and the market violates let's say the pin bar and continuously go down in that case you know i can't i i don't know how to deal with it you know I, i'm not sure which one's true reverse confirmation which ones gives fake signal so today i will talk about this topic because uh, i found one good example on one of the pairs today and also, this is one of the most ask, frequently asked questions recently. So I will talk about this topic and then uh, give some overview of the markets. So please stick to the video until the end. So uh, let me switch the screen. Okay, so uh, and uh, yeah, so before I start quickly, a disclaimer, uh, this information is all for educational purposes only so if you decide to trade please do at your own risk and also recently there are many scammers of mine so i only do web page and youtube this one and my second channel and twitter forexk and forexk notice and all the other accounts are fake if you see instagram of mine facebook of mine or telegram of mine these are all fake so just be careful because recently I got the reports that uh, you know there are so many scammers of mine out there in the world. Okay, so let me switch to trading view and start to talk about which pin bar is reliable and which one's not. So whenever you see the previous chart, for example, let me start to talk about wh why you think it's fake, first of all. And so let's say, let me identify the pin bar previously. So uh, uh, we can maybe pick this one. Uh, this is Euro CAD, and I found the one here from the 20th of August last year. There was a pin bar, and when you see pin bar, it's like that there is a, a smaller body than wick and wick pointing upwards. So in the textbook, usually what it says is that uh, you know when you see this. When, when the market goes up and when you see pin bar, it reverses and goes backwards. So if you only know this knowledge, then when you, and, and when you see the, this pin bar next time, you believe that it reverses and you sell, let's say you see pin bar and on this candlestick, you take a sell. Sometimes it just goes backwards and breaks the pin bar bullish and the market continuously goes up this way so and the reason why this happens is because most likely you only study this in the textbook or the previous frozen chart um, because uh, there's a big difference in between the frozen chart in the past and also live moving market uh, we can't see the future we cannot predict the future and we're not here to do it we're not here to predict the future, but we can only create the scenarios in the future. And that's a key to resolve this issue right now. So if you only see the previous chart, if you have studied the Ichimoku or any candles patterns or wave patterns, if you only studied it from the previous frozen charts, then you believe that this will be a reverse, but afterwards it just goes up. But because in the textbook, um, usually, uh, it doesn't talk about the fake pin bars because, um, yeah, so for example, 
uh, in this chart, you see a little pin bar here too. Or let me give you a better example of the reverse or the fake reverse. So let me try to identify which one was a fake pin bar. Um, let me see. So maybe this one. Um, let me enlarge and this time let me cancel Ichimoku because I would like to talk about only the candlesticks. So here you see a pin bar. And after you see this pin bar, you might think the market reverse. So the next candlestick became bearish. So you think that the market breaks and continues to go down. But in this case, it went upwards this way. And this happens many times. It happens many times. So that's another example. And let's see. Another example for the pin bar would be... Let's see. I mean, we have... Many of these examples, um, let's see, along this downtrend, looks like there wasn't any pin bars. Uh, pin bar or doji can be a confirmation for the reverse. So maybe here too, if you see these two little, um, you know, doji candles or pin bars, where you see the very tiny body and wicks up and downwards, longer wicks than body, these are also considered to be a reverse, you know, typically in the textbook. So when you see this candle, uh, you might think it's bearish, so you might sell. You may sell here and the market goes up afterwards. Because when you see this frozen chart, you know that these are fake. But when you see the real moving chart and when this appears, then you might think that it's reverse and you start to sell and you might lose if it's fake. Because let's say uh, I will delete the future, these future candles like this. Let's say, and when you see this, you know, when you see this pattern, you may think that, you know, these are the pin bars as we discussed earlier. And also there was a double top. So when you see this structure, double top and wicks upwards, and, um, you know, there are also some wicks upwards here too in this area. So you can see that, you know, there are strong rejection here. And after this, you might think that the market goes down. So you sell, but the market goes upwards this way, as we saw earlier. So the reason why this happens like this uh, is that the reason is very obvious. And the reason is you didn't wait for that candlestick close. That's it. You didn't wait for that candle close towards the breakout on either direction. Um, so this was the 17th of December, where you see the second pin bar. And as soon as you, as soon as you see this, you may take a sell on the 17th of December. Or after you confirm this pin bar on this day, Next day, 20th of December, this is Monday, 20th of December, at the market open here, you start to place a sell. And you put the stop loss above the previous high. Reasonably speaking, if you sell here, then most likely you put the stop loss above here. And by the end of the day, you realize the market goes up and hit the stop loss. You close with a with a loss in this case and again the reason was because you didn't wait for the candlestick close on the 20th of december because if you could wait for a close then you already know that this was a fake but because you didn't wait for the close afterwards you know that this was a fake and this is the most common um uh, pitfall most common mistake that uh, you know the newbie really falls into because I was the one also before I was studying a frozen chart in the textbook or frozen charts that the uh, you know people talk about the candle patterns or not only the candlestick patterns but also in Ichimoku strategies or even Bollinger Band strategies or classic strategies RSA strategies any strategies even time cycles or uh, price theories, or you know any strategies, uh, you name it. Uh, whenever I studied them, 
In the past frozen chart, it works. But in the real trade, it doesn't work. Because I didn't wait for the candle close was my uh, big lesson. And because of this, I lost so much money in the past. So until I realized the importance of the candle close, um, you know, I didn't realize that this will be a fake. So, and that's why I recommend everybody to backtest and run the Forex tester or run the bar replay on the trading view and cancel all the future handles, cancel all the future uh, indicators and uh, see if you can trade, you know, see if you can analyze charts and trade. And if the most important part for this is to verify, uh, most important part to backtest is not to verify what works in the future, but to verify what doesn't work in the future. That is more important uh, because sometimes you see fake breakout like this, fake pin bar, fake double top, fake Kumo breakout, fake Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross, Dead Cross, fake Chikos from breakout, fake time cycles. Uh, you know, uh, you see many fakes. Um, but uh, if you run the tester, if you run this bar play without seeing the future candles, then you know the reason why it doesn't work. And you start to realize when it works and when it doesn't work. So this is one of the examples uh, about the double top, fake double top and fake pin bars. But uh, we see many, many examples like this way. So coming back to this topic of the fake uh, doji break or fake pin bar break, I found one good example on Euro CAD because uh, today, this is the 4th of March and yesterday was the 3rd of March and you see the pin bar. You see the pin bar here and actually I already got this question by email also and also question from the Ichimoku community members was that if t this pin bar was possible or not. Um, the question was, again, uh, was this pin bar trustable for the reverse or not? How can I identify this? And you know the answer now already. Uh, you have to wait for this candlestick close. Uh, because uh, this is a daily time frame and it closes in 10 hours. So if it closes below the pin bar, which is 1.3966 level, then uh, from Monday onwards, most likely it continues to be downtrend. But um, if it breaks bullish, then uh, it becomes a reverse. And as a result, you see the pin bar was a reverse confirmation. But until you see the market breaks the previous pin bar high, you cannot tell still that this would be a fake or not. I hope that makes sense. So until you see, you confirm the candle close, you can't tell if this pin bar was reverse or not. So, and when I talk about this, you may wonder, I don't want to wait for one day. I don't want to wait until next Monday. How can I capture whether this pin bar will be fake or not today, within today? And there is a way to do it. There's a way to do it. So you can't see the candle close in daily chart, but you can see candle closes on the lower time frames. So whenever I see this and whenever I see this potential a reverse or a fake out, I look at the one hour chart. So let me switch down to one hour chart. And then you see this pattern. In one hour, it looks like this. Right, so after the previous support level breakout, the market has been moving down. It went downwards all the way, and then it went up and went down, and now it's going sideways. So in one hour candlestick, um, it hasn't closed uh, on either direction. So at this moment, we can't tell which way it breaks. But sometimes you see the one hour candlestick shows a, a descending P wave. 
like uh, the lows are at the same levels, but the highs getting lower and lower, and you see this um, descending P wave, for example. When you see this in one hour chart, you see this was a you know this was a candlestick after pin bar in the daily time frame, but you see more sellers than buyers in one hour time frame. So if, if, when you see this, you can expect a potential breakout bearish. So you can look for the sell chance and expect the market breaks uh, the breaks the support level. Or if you see the ascending P wave from here, the market went all the way down, but afterwards the market touches resistance and retraces backwards, but it doesn't break the previous low. But in the halfway through, the market goes up this way, and it went it went backwards without breaking the previous low. It goes up again. When you see this, this is ascending P wave in one hour, and you can expect the market breaks bullish in one hour chart before waiting for the close in one uh, in the daily time frame. So when I see this, I already look for the buy chance and expect the market breaks bullish. And as a result, you see the daily pin bar will be true. And afterwards, it retraces backwards all the way to either Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen in the daily time frame. So once again, simply by looking at this pin bar previously, you can't tell whether this will be a fake or not until you see the candle close on the next day to see whether it breaks bullish or bearish or you can look at the lower time frame one hour and you see the you see the candlestick pattern and uh, see which way potentially breaks whether it's a uh, whether it's a descending p wave ascending p wave and in this case i see that this, it has been moving up and down its range so there is no potential direction in this case in one hour so um, I can't tell which way breaks. So the other thing how you can identify the breakout is you you wait for the close in one hour. Uh, we have about 10 hours for the daily candle close. But in this one hour, it may close in the next two hours. It may close below the previous low in like three hours, let's say. And when you see this breakout in one hour, then you can capture this, you can capture the breakout before waiting for the close in the daily chart. And after this, you can expect the market goes bearish in one hour. And as a result, most likely, the daily close will become below the support. Right? Or if it goes up and if it breaks, let's say, in the four hour, in the next four hour, if, let's say, the one hour closes above the resistance of the daily previous uh, uh, doji candle, and then, before waiting for the daily close, you expect the market reverse from Monday. So you can already place a buy before it happens like this, before waiting for the daily close, let's say. So like this, you can, uh, by waiting for the one hour close, um, you can expect which way potentially breaks within the day. So right now, I see, uh, I see its range, but I see potential double bottom here potential double bottom and so neckline in one hour double bottom was here at 1.4036 so if the market breaks the neckline and if it closes if one hour chart closes above the neckline then i expect the market goes up this way it may retrace backwards and goes up this way too in one hour so i put the alert above that level 1.4036 and once it triggers i come back to chart and if i can find a good trading edge then i take it and hold the buy like this so that's possible too so this is a practical way to understand how you can avoid a fake uh, pin bar or fake double top fake you know, head and shoulders and so on. Before, I was only focusing on one single time frame. So, you know, there's, there was no way to capture 
whether it's a breakout or not. But now I know exactly whether it's a breakout or not, or a reverse or not, uh, by looking at the lower time frame situations. So that was the main topic for today. So from now, let me give you some analysis for the markets. So uh, let me take the Ichimoku lines again. So now again in EuroCAD daily chart, uh, previously there was a there was a Doji, and also I see Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. So in this case, it may it may retrace and goes backwards too, but you can be sure by looking at the one hour, um, one hour situation. So um, speaking of other markets, as we discussed earlier, like, uh, you know, this is the strength chart. And uh, I do see right now, the New Zealand is very strong and AUD is also very strong. And uh, in terms of weak currencies, Euro is weak and CAD is also weak. Pound is getting weaker now. JPY is slightly moving up, and Swiss franc is also very strong. So we see many, many volatility in each currency. So in Forex as a pair, we see many markets moves. So I do see trends on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pairs. So quickly covering all these pairs first, Euro USD. Euro USD it broke the support of 1.1121 level and now it's continuously going down this way so um, if you're selling then there is no reason to exit however there will be a euro news and also in the us there will be non-farm payrolls so um, to be safer i wait i will exit some profit uh, before the news happens because you know uh, we never know how the news can impact the market so um, after the news or at the news uh, it, the market may spike up and you may lose all these potential profits so to be safer I will exit or I move the stop loss uh, up slightly above the the current position current uh, market level and then just keep there and if the market reverse I will just let the market hit the stop and fix a profit there or simply exit before the news happens but Euro USD has been downtrending, so it still looks like downtrending. No, no reason to exit yet. And Euro AUD is also moving down. And as we discussed earlier on time cycles on the uh, on the uh, video, it has been moving down. So yeah, there is no reason uh, to exit in this case either. The potential low was actually the potential future handcabi for the low was. The 7th of March, so today or next Monday, it may reverse. But still, this is downtrending, so still you can follow the downtrend. Uh, until we see reverse, we can still try out the profits along the way. And Euro Swiss franc is also bearish. It broke the support, so I will take out this arrow. Right now, it has been bearish, so no reason to exit yet. And pound AUD has been moving down too. It broke the support and now it's going down. The previous support level, the most recent, the most uh, previous support was 2nd November last year. And it is breaking that level. So here too, uh, to be safer, you want to wait for the kind of close in the daily chart. And if it closes below the support and then from Monday onwards, next week, you can look for the sell chance. And pound Swiss run is also bearish right now. And AUDUSD is bullish. It broke the neckline of the previous double bottom. So this is now turning bullish. Um, there might be some retracement along the way. But uh, to me, in the long term, it's bullish. And... AUDCAD has been moving up all the way, but this is in Y wave structure. And also, 0 0.9376 is actually the resistance from the last September and also last July. We have some resistances at this level. So, Y wave and resistance hit, the market may reverse. 
So to be safer, I stay away from this AUD CAD. I usually don't jump into the market in this situation. I wait for the market consolidate, retrace, charge energy, and look for the buy chance afterwards. And also, AUD CIS run is bullish right now. You see Kumo up, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up, and Chikos from above candles. So in the long term, I think the market goes up to 0.6812 level. And so these are my favorite Forex pairs to trade today. And also, let me give you analysis on gold. Because I, on gold, I found something very interesting. And you can refer to it to trade next Monday. And what I found was that the uh, here, you see the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. But, uh, you know, as Kijun Sen takes the last 26 high and low, and Kijun Sen is taking this high, the high from the 24th of February, due to the news, what's happening between Russia and Ukraine, there was a long week spike up and retrace backwards. So Kijun Sen is taking this high, and also the low from the 28th of January, because this was exactly 26th previous candle. So what may happen, or what exactly happens on Monday will be Kijun Sen turns bullish. Because Kijun Sen on Monday will take the low on the, on the 29th of January here. And the, the average, the mid, mid price will rise because of this. While the high remains the same level, low gets higher and the mid price gets higher and that will make the Kijun Sen higher. So this is something that we can predict. You know, I usually say we can't, we can't predict the future, but this we can predict by the calculation. So Kijun Sen will move up on Monday, even if it doesn't break the resistance. And if Kijun Sen moves up, well, Tenkan Sen remains flat on Monday, what happens to Single Span A will be Single Span A also turns bullish on Monday. So on Monday, I come back to gold and look for the buy chance and expect the market breaks the resistance potentially next week. So if you know the calculation of Ichimoku, you can actually predict these future angles of Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen or Kumo like this so that you can capture when to look for the buy chance or sell chance in the future. So, and briefly speaking about the Bitcoin, because I know there are many crypto traders in my community. So here is Bitcoin and it has been ranging right now. But um, you see the lows are higher now. So this is ascending P wave. I, I can see that there are more buyers and sellers. So eventually, I expect the market breaks the resistance of 45, 535. But uh, before that, I expect the market reverse backwards. It may touch this uh, trend line and bounce and goes up this way too. So we'll see which way it goes. But right now, this is not a good time to buy because I don't see a potential breakout uh, situation on these candlesticks and also Ichimoku lines. So that's the overview of the market for today. And I will close the video for now. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining and thank you for watching the video today. If you liked it, please press the like button. So uh, yeah, just make sure to wait for the candle close whenever you see the pin bar, doji, or engulfing candles, or double bottom, or head and shoulders. Uh, you have to wait for the candle close to be able to decide which way the market is going. And until you see, until you confirm the candlestick close, you better wait, is my advice. All right, so yeah, since this is Friday, I hope you have a great Friday and great weekend, weekend ahead. And I will see you the next time. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Oh, and also lastly, uh, just watch out the news. Watch out, there will be news in Euro and USD, there will be no farm payrolls today, tonight. So just be careful. If you're not confident, then simply stay away, come back Monday, because 
markets are always there for you. All right, so I will see you next one. And please stay safe and stay healthy and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.